Can you pop your head in? I just need to focus. Cool. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. All right. I just spilled some coffee. We're cleaning that up. We're doing this. One more broadcast. Welcome. Hi, folks. Thanks for joining us here. Another episode of the Wonder Fair Home Shopping Network. Meredith's going to be pretty exciting. Um, I'm just going to tweet out a little link to this so folks can go see it. You're, you've already done that. You're on top of it. Good job. Good job, YouTube. Good job, Twitter. Man, didn't I have a tweet queued? Where is it? Okay, gonna have to take a minute and get back on there when Meredith is, is back. Well, um, cool. So I guess I'll, I'll get started without Meredith. Um, I'm, you know, getting a delivery service going. We don't know yet. Uh, they're just tantalizing us with photos of the products we can't buy. That's that's a, that's the update from Taco Zone. Still desperate. Um, but here's a, here's a well shoot. You know, I was thinking last night. Got that taco craving. Was thinking of hitting up La Estrella, which folks in town might know. La Estrella, some of the best tacos in Lawrence, maybe the best. Um, you know, different different from Taco Zone. Uh, Taco Zone's like that stewed meat, California, Southern California style. La Estrella, which is over on Iowa in one of those shopping plazas there, La Estrella has more of like the classic Mexican street taco going on. Um, they're absolutely wonderful. They've got um, great salsas. They got a salsa bar. I don't know the status of the salsa bar currently, but it's making me want to make my own. And to do that, I have a great carnitas recipe and I just get like one of those big Boston butts from the Merck and you just kind of like sear off some big chunks and then let it stew for like a couple hours in the oven. And it's, um, it's great. Nikki Laser says best tacos are in Top City and you're right. I'm not gonna argue with that um, spot, Top City for sure. Um, Oh, was there a was there a death? Sorry, since I was talking about um, La Estrella, did they have a death? That is sad. Sorry, I didn't know about that. Um, wouldn't have been so lightheartedly discussing how great their food is. Um, it is great, um, but I'm sorry to hear if some, one of their crew members died. So further update pending. Um, what? I, I'm not sure yet. I was just talking about tacos, and it seems like somebody might have died in a kayaking accident. Oh, God. At La Estrella. That would be really sad. We don't know yet. Waiting on details from my Instagram feed. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. My hair matches my mood now. Mm. Okay. La Estrella, uh, from oh. La Estrella? Okay. Chef had a kayak accident. Not dead. Thank God. Phew. Okay. Still, still tough. Tri be safe out there, kayaking or otherwise. Um, thanks, Shammers. And that was from Taco Zone. Oh, Taco Zone. See, we've been oh. just, so we've discussed from the beginning that I think Brad. I thought it was a mountain biking crash. Oh, but okay. But apparently, uh, kayak accident. Kayak I don't know. Accident. I knew there was some extreme Kansas sports involved. <laughs> Extreme sports. Oh boy. Uh, oh, I okay. feel very anxious for Brad now. We gotta send him a get well. Card. I don't know. Brad's not the chef. We don't oh, know. Was the I, chef. Yes, it's the chef. I don't know. I don't know, the chef. I don't know why La Estrella is closed for two weeks. I hope it's not another kayaking incident. Oh my gosh. Um, what a scary. That would be a real, in. really weird, bizarre the, thing. The true pandemic in Lawrence is kayaking extreme sports. Taking out our taco connections. Uh okay. Let's let's move on. Wow, I thought I was just getting some nice lady some block printing ink, but y'all were over here we, really getting we're dark. We're getting getting dark. Yikes. <laughs> okay, nobody you, died though. We're okay. And nobody's I don't think anybody's died in Douglas County from the no. the virus, which is good. We're doing great here. 
that's the update. Um, I did read that the first person who had been in critical care in Lawrence, who is actually a Leavenworth County resident using our facilities, um, he's recovered and has left the hospital. So that's great news. Um, very exciting. If the phone's just ringing off the hook here. It's a home shopping network, so that's sort of the whole plan. Um, and I think Paul also got up to answer the door at the same time. Uh, sure although you just saw us on screen at the same time, maybe we'll try to do this whole episode where we just swap in and out like a revolving door of hosts. Um, but uh, what did I miss, y'all? Making up stuff about um, yeah. kayak accidents. Which is a fun sounding word, sort of. All right, I think I'm gonna move on without Paul now. Where Where is today gonna go, y'all? I gotta tell you, you know what I think? It's because it's hump day. It's hump day's fault. Paul, it's because we're in the hump day trough. It's always loopy in the hump day trough, isn't it? It's loopy. Furthermore, did you announce that we do not have our special guest yet? No, I haven't announced okay. that. Okay, so announcements. We do have special guests planned for future Wednesday broadcasts, but today um, we just need a little more preparation time. So uh, your special guests are that Paul and I will constantly leave the screen, giving you more of an eyeful of just, just one at a time. It's like the opposite of a special guest. What did I miss? Keep talking because I'm trying to get this tweet out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I I can do that. <laughs> I have plenty to talk about. I had it queued up and now it disappeared. And... I have other announcements Good. as well. Great. Um, which are oh I didn't. Oh I did. Um did I? I just really am bad at being put on the spot on this live broadcast. It's clearly so important. Dozens of people will watch. And this is about the biggest audience I've had since I was in high school musicals. So if any of y'all would like to shame me, you could probably try to find copies of those online to watch. Mm. You think I was in uh... Oklahoma. That was a rough one. Y'all, that musical's not good. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> it's really know. problematic. I haven't, I haven't seen that one. Yeah. And uh, I was in Once Upon a Mattress. Memory lane here. Anyway. Check it out. I know I have them on VHS somewhere, but I'm not digging them oh, up for you. Oh, yeah, I saw them in the move. Did you? Yeah. Oh, no. But we don't have the VCR set up. I have been thinking about getting the VCR set up, though, because, you know, when I'm in thrift stores recently, I don't watch a lot of movies, but when I'm in thrift stores, I'm looking through the VHS, and I'm like, yeah, I'd rewatch that, and none of that stuff is on Netflix or any of... I mean, Netflix is terrible for movies. Let's be honest. It's um, not great. I'm sure I could find stuff I want to watch at Liberty Hall. True. To be fair. Um, but you know, when I'm at the thrift store, VHS, they're a dollar. I'm just thinking, boy, maybe I should get back into this scene. It's much easier to find films starring, uh, chimpanzees wearing clothes on VHS. Which, which is, is what I'm here for. Uh, that's not a category yet on Netflix. There's not a category for lots of things. Like they are often trying to feed me romantic Korean dramas. Uh, but no monkey movie category. But there's no monkey movies category. So anyway, get on it, Netflix. You're the only person whose stock price is doing well. So I feel like you. this is your time to shine. Bring on the monkey movie Thriving. algorithm. And I'm going to I'm gonna be there on the couch every night once that monkey movie algorithm kicks in. Great. Let's move on. I think we've proven that I should <laughs> not be left on the screen. Let's on. move on. I've got a big unboxing day planned. Because today, as you know, is whatever Paul wants Wednesday. Yeah. Did you explain that? That's the official day. No, I it's didn't. It's the day that preparedness takes a break and doesn't prepare anything. And Paul just surprises me with things. <laughs> so, Paul, what are you surprising me with today? Oh, boy. Boy, well, we've got we've got some some big unboxings planned. Okay. Um, including, uh, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna tease folks Ooh. right now with this box, which is uh, all the way from Denmark, wow. from the Viking company. I love Denmark in general. Denmark's so great. We're gonna great. be opening this big baby next. Um, one of the and, happiest countries. And I'll tell you more about it in a sec, but we've been waiting on this one a while. Yeah, we'll talk more about it. I bet they're happy dinner. because of all their nice oh. art supplies. You know, before I get into the unboxing, is Grace here? Grace might not be here. We'll wait, see if Grace tunes in. Because hmm. I do want to give a shout out to Grace D. Chin and wish Grace 
Are Grace gonna... Chin, a happy birthday. Yeah. We'll do. Okay. So if we get Grace on, Grace, if you're there, let us know. Um, and uh, it's Grace's birthday today. So we'll all wish Grace a happy birthday when she tunes in, um, if and when. Um, she probably sleep. Lawrence, Kansas's 10th best local artist. It's true. Those um, are facts. Just like we're the number two haunted bathroom. I know. Speaking of which, of you Paris. can still visit our bathroom, albeit virtually. Just go to Wonderfair's virtualhauntedbathroom.com. That's a website we have. That is an announcement. Um, Show me this box. Yes, let's get the into let's get into this one. So, stop. Um, you know, sales are a little slower at Wonder Fair, but um, some some products are selling well, mm -hmm. given the the times we're living in, and uh, given the way that we built the website and featured certain things, like Dave's picks. Dave's picks are doing okay. This box is overkill. I gotta tell you. Um, everybody's it's much, running out of the breast It's much boxes larger. Right everybody's yeah. everybody's low on box supplies. So it's kind of like you never know what you're going to get. You got to make the best. You got to make do. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what's inside. We got tissue wrapped merchandise here. Utmost care from our, our vendors. And uh, this has been a real bestseller on the website. Got to tell you. You know what I'm talking about? I do because I saw it. I got it's it. It's the Yikes pin. Um, the future looks yikes. Yes, it's a crystal ball. It reads yikes. Um, this Seems comes, accurate. This, it's, it's just like uh, of the moment, you know? Mm -hmm. This is what we feel right now is yep. yikes. And so uh, sold through our entire supply of yikes prints and had to reorder. I got a custom. We, we were goofed up the inventory. We were off by one. Somebody ordered it last week. We didn't have it, so I got more. There you go. That's the so kind of that's the kind of service today. you get at Wonder Fair. We will drop it on their porch today. We're gonna get that out to um, because that it's person. a Wednesday, so we are delivering today. Just a reminder that our deliveries are now Monday, Wednesday, Friday for local delivery. That's right. So see you later days. this evening. Every street in Lawrence. Every street. No, we'll we don't. We're not that. But so that's we do a some good stuff. boatload of Yikes pins while I was placing an order. This is from our friend Stephanie in um, Indianapolis. You guys like the sound here? It's a lot. It's real rustly. Stephanie's brand is called 1606 Supply Company. Uh, and this that I just unwrapped is like a whole bevy of stickers. And I'm gonna have to feature Ooh, each of these. Ooh, they got glittery. This is a new version Ooh. of the Yikes sticker. It's a little smaller, but now glittery. Look at that. I like it. I like it. Look at, this is a real home shopping sort of um, This is gonna experience. go on my phone today. Yeah, right? Yeah, show okay. this baby off. I wanna, wanna get, you wanna do the close-ups on Instagram? And I I'll, will. I'll show here. Okay. Um, you got one of each. There you go. And so for for the Coming folks on Instagram, show them the Yikes one first. Okay. Let, let's see the sparkle on that. Once again, for the folks on YouTube, beautiful. Wow. Oh, wow. Um, love it. Okay. Love. Now I'm ready for this next one. Okay. This is, a, this is a brand new one. What a time to be alive. That's a, that's a little vinyl sticker there. Also comes in a white colorway. So you can take your pick. These are not on our website yet, but they will be soon because I just unboxed it. I need to count them, receive them, and then get them live on the website. That's how it works, folks. That's the behind the scenes at Wonder Fair is you get a box, you count it, you put it in the computer, and you then, know, then it's for sale to people. Point of order. Are we still going to put price tags on stuff? Wow. Uh, I guess we can just really hope that at some point people can come back and yeah, we'll need to use we'll the price tags. I guess we'll keep putting price tags on stuff. Yeah. Well, I think these are great stickers, really well designed. They're very high quality vinyl. Yeah. Um, can't wait to put it on my phone because indeed, what a time to what be alive. What a time to be alive. So sidebar, you know that I love writing letters. So I study like classic um, greetings and sign offs. And a famous one is uh, may you live in unremarkable times, mm. um, which I is a kind way of saying like, not like this. 
So that sticker reminds me of that classic closing of for a letter saying to someone like, I hope things are just chill for you, babe. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> um, time to be alive. Anyway. Great, great feedback on the uh, coordinated dual platform close up cam. Well, let's keep doing so that. We'll, Thank we'll, you for your insight. We'll, um, we'll incorporate that in. Read us that letter. It was just a packing slip, um, if that's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, we did get a really nice letter from Kevin Liu in the mail, though. So thanks, Kevin, for your letter. It was exquisitely done on, um, I think a it was on that folding folding with cats on it card. Yeah, written in fountain pen ink. Uh, of his new Twisby we're loving the Nico. letters. I hope to have more free time once we're caught up on some admin um, that we can start writing letters back to folks because I'd love to have more pen pals at the end of this um, difficult time. Yep. Uh, I, I want to take a step back because uh, another viewer on Instagram, Pixie Pine, says, love the updates on Taco Zone. Can we mm -hmm. expand it? More of the Mass Street neighbors. We'll do our best. I've been asking around. We're, we're trying to get updates from people. There's not a lot of folks down here, so we're, we're doing our best to gather information. What, what we can tell you is the places that we're regularly ordering food from so you're aware of who's doing business because we're keeping tabs on that. Ramen Bowls is a go-to. We got their takeout last night. Um, do y'all know about the secret chicken wonton ramen? It's not a secret anymore. It's yeah, they put the it. Menu. They put it on their online menu, which I guess good for them. But what a secret that was! Their mm -hmm. chicken wontons so are good. ridiculous. Um, they're filled with cream cheese. It's like a big chickeny it's crab like rangoon. Crab rangoon for people who are allergic to shellfish. Yeah. Um, India Palace delivery. Yep, mm. that comes by a delivery service. We got Johnny's. Pizza delivered. They're only doing it out of West Lawrence. Gotta say, the West Lawrence pizza was not quite as good as the North Lawrence. I enjoyed pizza. it. It was cheesier. <laughs> it was cheesier. There was more cheese than crust. I'm folks. a sauce guy. <laughs> and yet we make it work. <laughs> we make it work. Um, let's see. What else is going on? I would on like to give here? an update on a local business that Dave likes to eat at. Yeah. Oh, please. Mm -hmm. Dave enjoys only two places in Lawrence, <laughs> Lucky Dog Outfitters and Pet World. He gets his kibble from Pet World and his nuggets nuggets from Lucky Dog. And they are awesome some sardines. Wow. It was, it was so It was cute. a gift from their cat pretzel to yeah. Dave, which is super nice. So you can still get hooked up from either of those local pet stores good with low for, contact. Good for animal food. Um, more people food that's going on downtown. Let's see. Uh, still waiting on an update from Limestone. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to that coming back. Uh, did Aladdin Cafe a couple days ago. Wheat Fields, of course, going strong. We're at Terrebonne almost once a week. Did you know that they have poutine fries and it's just three fifty and it's like a whole meal? That poutine <laughs> is the deal of the century. Folks. Yeah, it really is. Also, everything they sell is very affordable, including a very good three dollar rice and beans bowl. It's true. Um, great great um, food on a budget. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, Ladybird downtown, if a budget is something that's challenged for you right now, is still offering free pantry boxes and free lunch for anyone who needs it. You don't have to be a kid. You don't have to show up with some kind of a weird pay stub. You need it. You know it. They trust you. You get it. And um, well, we need to put up some it. money to get a statue of Meg built. Yeah, I don't. We'll do it. <laughs> Statue of yeah. Meg. Uh, I'm for it. That would be that would be hot. <laughs> yeah, it would be great. <laughs> With some um, pies. Yeah, I maybe know. they should spin. Could it be kinetic? Oh wow, I'd love Ugh. it. Um, so that's a proposal on the table. Wonder Fair's 99 theses statue of um, Meg from Lady Bird. I love that idea. Um, other updates. Somebody was asked if you wrote us letters, would we read them on the air? Yeah, if they're safe to broadcast, we can. We'll do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to necessarily do it without a person's permission. We'll, we won't say their name. Write your permission into the letter. But you can write your permission into the letter that we can read it. Um, uh, let's see. Anything else? Questions we were getting. Yep. Okay. We're caught up. Caught I think. up. I think oh, we're caught it's up. good to be caught up on something, babe. Uh, well, Ooh. Elizabeth on YouTube asked call back to the VHS segment. Don't we love having to switch VHS tapes while watching Titanic? <laughs> I didn't know that. That's yeah, amazing. the double, <laughs> the two tapes. Love what? it. Oh, it's so good. That movie is so long. It's so it's long. It's been 84 years. <laughs> Um, every day feels. I believe we watched that one year ago on Grace's birthday. We did, because so. famously the Titanic 
something S about sank it. Sank today. Happened. Today is the day it sank. I think it sank on the 14th. So the, that's which is today. Maybe it started sinking on the 13th. Today is the day. No, sink the boat. Wait. Fact check, please. It's the 15th. <laughs> today is the 15th? Yeah. Uh well somebody's gonna fact check that okay. but we're pretty sure that Titanic sank today. I think it was yesterday. Okay. For the record. Um, we're, I don't gonna, know. we're gonna find out soon. Cool. Thank you, Elizabeth. Today is the fifteenth. Who knows anymore, really? <laughs> no, who cares? Um, um, should we carry on with unboxings? Yes, I enjoyed that box. I would also like to thank the shippers for providing all that tissue paper, which I will reuse. We're heavily reusing lots of shipping supplies here because that's better yeah. for the environment. If we have to be shipping things, we want to do it as um, friendly as possible. We're really digging. We, we first we broke it's also into like Earth Day week, right? We broke into the bubble wrap closet finally today. I've been after... stockpiling bubble wrap for years. I give a lot of it to Yarn Barn, um, but I finally have been hoarding it, and yeah, feels good to dip into that pool. Yep. Um, so full closet full of bubble wrap. If you ever need bubble wrap, just call us. Mm, I'm kind of needing the bubble. We, wrap. I mean, we need it now, but just in general, like after this pandemic's over. Um, we will get you bubble wrap if you need it. It won't be on a roll like you buy at um, Office Depot. Just it will scraps. be scraps. It'll be big bubbles. It'll be little bubbles. You got your choice here. We'll help you out. Do you have a favorite bubble wrap? Ooh, I mean, the big bubbles are the most satisfying to pop. Mm. Um, there's all sorts of different bubble wrap out there. What's your favorite? Well, I, of course, I ask the question like most people do, and this is pretty self-centered of people because I have an answer yeah. to share, which is that the best bubble wrap is the kind that comes in like a stream of logs of air, and then each air can be subdivided. Mm. It's perforated, so you can have just one little pillow of air. This is the best from a reuse perspective because it's you the, can chop it down to exactly the size you need. It's just all, it works in every, you don't need multiple sizes, yep. and they kind of feel like little hot dogs. Mm. So they're fun to stuff in a box because yeah. like you're shoving a hot dog in there to keep your stuff safe. <laughs> I just pretend I'm shoving hot dogs in all your packages. Sounded bad when I read it. I just did it back. And let's do another box. Uh, Molly Weta says Penguin Random House sends the best bubble wrap in their book shipments. I'm huh. not sure we get the same kind of treatment you get. I think Molly's referring to a very fascinating, soft, gray, highly flexible, like they're channels of air that are interlocked in vertical stripes. Uh -huh. And it is very flexible. It doesn't work for us because it's quite thick, and most of our packages don't need that much air. We need like side cushioning, but it's a great bubble wrap for like wrapping delicate objects. Um, all right, we're gonna get into Viking. Kate has love talking. About Kate has wrap, kindly though. fact checked our Titanic um, tidbit, and mm -hmm. it is true. Today is the day the Titanic sank. Okay, the fifteenth. Uh, it's the fifteenth. It's also Grace's birthday, which is how we know that today is the day the Titanic sank because one year ago we watched. Titanic at Jungle House to celebrate his great Grace D. Chen's 30th birthday. I think she's 30 anyway. 31. Now, one year later. Yeah. All right. You folks ready for this? It's it's a shipment. This is from um, this comes to us all the way from uh, Denmark, you said. Yes, Donninglund, Denmark, mm -hmm. which is uh, up on the north side. It's uh, just just north of Aalborg, across across the river from uh, Gothenburg in Sweden. How, so how do you know? So much I looked about it up. Okay. <laughs> I looked it up. Wow. I was you know because if you're if you're in Sweden, which I've I've been to Sweden a lot, so I'm always trying to figure out how to get to Denmark. Right. And if you're in Gothenburg, you can go over to the north side and take a ferry, or you can drive if you're down south in Sweden, drive into Copenhagen, which is normally how we do it. Never done the ferry, but would love to someday. Mm -hmm. And now I know that I could go visit Viking that when I'm there. So uh, this is a lovely box. You can see that they've got their own, um, uh, what, is, what kind of tape is this called? Uh, this is like- This is actually called packing tape. This is a paper packing tape. Mm -hmm. This is the kind that comes, it's got like a glue, and you have to wet it when you're um, putting it on. So special machinery for that, old school. Um, it's got their lovely logo and branding on the tape, so you know it's first class. That um, is classy. I'm opening with this uh, 
This is the ceramic opener here. Mm -hmm. Do we have these available? Uh, I believe they went unavailable. Okay. Also, that distributor is uh, quarantine shut down. We used to we used to sell these. Um, they're just, it's just like a lovely opening tool. You're not gonna like cut yourself on this, which is great. Um, and it's nicely sized, so it's not gonna cut into your package when you're. And shopping. unlike metal, they're less likely to pick up sticky residue. Okay. Getting into this, oh boy. Ooh. Dissolving it's, nugget. You're gonna have to see this to believe it. Mm. Beautiful flat pack on that. Um, it's like snow, snow on a hillside in Denmark. Yeah, it's very snowy here. Um, Are you glad I'm doing this? Styrofoam. Yeah, wow, this is, I'm gonna be quiet for a sec so y'all can absorb this uh, ASMR moment. Somebody knocking? <laughs> That's good. Okay. Okay, now our table's covered in styrofoam. It's not a problem. Can you move your coffee? I'm definitely oh. gonna spill it. Yep. Yes, you are. <laughs> phone. Okay. Phone. Now, so uh, Viking, if you don't know, and you probably don't, because it's not the mo not like a common household name, but they are a Danish pencil company mainly, um, and. Uh, they've been around for uh, over a hundred years, um, but it's it's one of those like a lot of companies, office supply companies, pencil companies get sold off and change hands and become con subsidiaries of other companies, and that happened to Viking for sure throughout the last century. But about a decade ago, um, it got repurchased by the um, by a company in Denmark. And they started making pencils again. So um, it's sort of like, uh, but still with that like Danish design tradition and beautiful products, simple, affordable um, stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just dig into this box and take out some of the the real hits here. I'll do the. Oh yeah. Okay. Here we're gonna do a side by side close up. Here's a box for you. Mm -hmm. You can open there. I'll open this one on camera. This is the, um, uh, I'm going to have to get in here to get the name of it for you. It's like the sort of student model of the pencil. Um, classic yellow, number two sort of deal. Uh, it's an HB lead. Um, it's called the uh, Skull Blight, Skull Blanton. Blight, Blanton? I don't, I'm not going to be good I with it. School I think it means school pencil. Um, classic yellow. Uh, it's got a red ferrule on top. Not a ferrule. It's black. It's black. Sorry. It's okay. Um, cap. It's not a ferrule. A ferrule would actually hold an eraser. So it's just a red, red hit, black hit on the cap. <laughs> it says it's HB. What I've learned is these uh, write more, a little softer, more like a B. Um, so that's that's that one. Let's toss the next toss the next one. You know how to focus on that? Just tap uh, the screen. Yeah, I should have, but my hand was full of pencils. Okay. Here's the next one. You got it. So these we're gonna be selling individually, but if you really wanna dig in, you can definitely give us a ring and we could we could sell you a package of these because they come nicely packaged. This is what feels like what do you think that is? Um letterpress? It does packaging. seem letterpress. I think we got some letterpress packaging here. It's actually embossed, though. Mm -hmm. So it's raised. Raised embossing. I don't know how it works. This is the um, School Dungeon pencil, the number 400. Uh, this kind of glossy red lacquer on there, again with the black ferrule, not ferrule, cap. Um, this is like their office use pencil. Just elegant, classy. Um, you know, these are, these are nice, nice pencils. Um, none of them are going to have erasers with one exception. Um, but they're all going to look really phenomenal. Here's a close up on the packaging. They're going to look really phenomenal in your pencil cup. But Paul, they seem to be made of rubber. Oh, you, did you get one of the rubber ones? Yeah. Wow. 
Um, I ju- I'll have to I'll have to let them know that they've been shipping us rubber pencils. Not very good. <laughs> uh, here is a real fave. These don't come in quite the same box. I'm what, sort of what into is going? Those. What is going on here? These, I don't even this know. This is like a cord of pencils yeah. for all you uh, woodcutter heads out there. It's bound with a small string. Why? How? So this is a. Um, I don't even know. I can't remember what these are. It looks like it's a a four B and an H B. One gray, wow. one black. Is that what's going on? Everyone. Meredith knows. Get excited. I've never known of this to exist. It's two sketching pencils in one so that you could more easily do like shading effects with a super soft 4B and then outline and detail with the HB on one pencil. So Boom. if you only have one, like maybe you'd have a sketchbook with a pencil loop. You want to slide one pencil in there and get tons of sketching done. Uh, one tool. I love a double ended pencil. Hey, they're hot. They're just, they're just so efficient. Wow, this is a good thing you bought. It's weird about the packaging, but I'm here for it. Do you think they only sell them in sets of six? Uh, I think that's the order quantity. So, yep, we're, we'll have those available individually. This just seems like it'd be really hard to package this way. Yeah, I don't know. We, we're, it's a good question. It smells really nice. We don't nice. know all the answers here. This is new to us. Um, Here's a neat one. Um, this is the Viking Rolo. If you want to pull one of these out. Um, Rolos are one of my favorite candy. Good candy. Um, you might not be able to tell, but this is a chunkier pencil than the other ones, than a normal hex pencil. I'd say it's like one and a half times as big. So you've got a, a little bit bigger grip. This is an artist graphite pencil. Um, so more of like a drawing sketching pencil. It's got a chunky thick lead in there. You're definitely not going to be able to see that. Maybe you can. I don't know. Um, so uh, and it's got this beautiful like unfinished wood casing on that. Those are lovely. Um, I'm doing a great and very yeah. professional job of hand modeling over there. Now, now we're getting into some of the real treats here. Yeah. Um, before I get to the the final. Final the great finale? stuff. Yeah, the finale. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to see. Okay, oh. we've got some nice black erasers. Mm -hmm. Ooh, classy. Black plastic erasers are uh, always nice. Yeah. Got a good smell on those. Good for graphite. FYI. Work for charcoal, too. Um, let's see. Oh, these are neat. Ooh, you want to show hats. those off? Oh, yes. I, I didn't even tell you about those. No. Good job on these leather pencil caps. Leather wow. pencil caps. And they're just like, I think, you know, I haven't done all of the calculations yet, but that's going to come out at like just five or six bucks. Oh, maybe. very nice. So affordable leather pencil cap. Look at this chunky boy. Um, Ooh, keep this is This is even thicker than the... I'll take both. Yep. So this chunky one, uh, Valgbliant, is uh, even thicker than that Rolo. It's like twice as chunky as a normal pencil. And I don't know if you can see this, but up there at the top, there's a hole through the um, cap. So yeah, I think we can see that. Um, and that's because um, it's an election pencil, folks. This is designed to be tethered to a voting booth or to some other um, place where you would be making a selection. I think that's what the translation is on Valgliant. So uh, a selection pencil. Um, we've got some cord here to tether that so we can, we can get you set if you wanna just like tie that pencil up to uh, a desk that you have or like a spot in the kitchen where you need a pencil. Um, that, that'll be great. Got some of the cord from them. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm pretty Real excited chunky. About all these pencils. Yeah. Um, Pennsylvania is gonna be popping. Pencil. Yeah. I mean, we're really trying to build out Pennsylvania here at the Wonder Fair in our. I love this pencil cap. Somewhat seclusion. Here's another eraser. Um, the big oval soap soapy looking eraser. Mm. 
Mm, there you go. That does look like soap. Yeah. Um, so that's a big, another chunky, chunky guy. Like it that one. It smells like nostalgia. Yeah, it's got that big logo on there. Oh, it's very, very nice. That's fun. All right, and now here's the real, the real cherry on top. Two pencils left in this box. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we, it's coming, it's coming up. Here's <laughs> a chunky one for you. I love so this thick. pencil. K -K. I love it. Um, there you go. You ready for the king? Um, I wasn't born ready for this because no one's born good enough for this pencil, but so, we can only aspire to deserve it. First up, the Viking Mini, which is the world's greatest golf pencil. Boop. Yep. So it's a, a classic normal pencil, half size with ferrule and eraser. So it comes in golf size. It's ready to go. Um, just perfect. Um, so that's that's the A number one golf pencil in the world. You don't have to golf to use this pencil. You can just have a small pencil in your pocket, in a bag, anywhere you go, small, throw it in the glove box. Doesn't take up a lot of space, cup holders, whatever. I have an inquiry. Yeah. You sound like a guy who researched some pencil stuff before this episode, too, which has made me very proud of and love you. Um, Bowling pencils famously don't have an eraser because you should never change a score because then you're cheating. Right. Uh, golf pencils also had to follow this rule, but this has an eraser. So oh. is that more allowed? Well. Like, did internet say, like, this is the best golf pencil? No, internet didn't say that. I made that up. Okay, Paul is wrong about that. Golf pencils should not have an eraser. Famously, <laughs> scoring pencils don't have erasers. All right, now you know. Some do. I think baseball scoring pencils may have erasers. I'm not sure about this, however, is a golf pencil with an eraser. Yeah, it's a golf, golf similar in size to a golf pencil, I guess. Mm -hmm. Not actually a golf pencil. It makes my hand look absolutely giant. Yeah. Um, well, wait till you see the next one if you think your hand looks big now. You ready, folks? It's the Viking Micro. Ah. You can barely even see this. It's so small. Um, boy, look at that. It's so tiny, the hand model. I love it so much. Mm hmm Viking Micro, um, that's the smallest pencil you'll probably find out in the world. Um, I mean, maybe they're smaller, but not for consumer sale here. Um, and certainly not in Lawrence, Kansas. This is the smallest pencil in Lawrence right now, guarantee it. Um, and it's available for sale here at Wonder Fair. I think these are like, they're maybe like two bucks. They're, I mean, it's you don't get a lot for the two bucks, let's say that, but um, it's going to fit pretty much anywhere. I disagree. I think you get a lot of joy from seeing a pencil so tiny. That's what it is. It's uh, it's, it's a so more nice. ephemeral purchase in the sense that you're happy because you own this tiny pencil. Um, but it, it will function. I got to tell you, you're not going to be able to sharpen this in a traditional sharpener. Instead, you're probably going to be using sandpaper or uh, a utility file. knife, nail file. Uh, I just had a thought. Okay. How cute would it be if while Dave is napping, I pose this little pencil in his hand and slide a piece of paper under there to make it look like he's writing a tiny letter? Oh my God. Or maybe filling in an election ballot and then we can be like, vote. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool, cool Dave hijinks uh, oh, that's coming be soon. so cute. I love things that are tiny. I just assume that this will make its way into our um, tiny, tiny, gift, tiny set. gift set. So I bought a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So. Um, look forward to that if you're a big tiny gift set fan. <sighs> These are great. Um, yeah. Just want to do a one last comparison for scale here on these. I want to return these to their rightful home. Yeah, we'll sort that out later. Okay. I oh. guess I didn't show this Viking element, but now you can see the whole lineup. I'll take them when you're done. There we go. All three for scale. Nice. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right. 
So that's um, that's a look at the uh, Viking line of pencils. I didn't order everything they sell, but I ordered I ordered the heavy hitters. Um, and so uh, obviously none of this is for sale yet, but I'm gonna really gonna really try and get this loaded in uh, and on sale soon. So um, if you're interested in any of this stuff, give us a Whoa. call. Whoa. Whoa. Um, give us a call later today um, if you want to get into Viking pencils. Maybe I'll even do like a little Viking pencil starter kit or something. That'd be fun. Um, where you can just like try out all these fun new pencils we got in from Denmark um, and, and get acquainted with the Viking product line. Did you know that my only tattoo is a pencil lead? I didn't know you had a tattoo. Not intentionally. I just stabbed myself in the leg with a pencil when I was very young, and the graphite's still in there, so it's like a little round tattoo dot. Wow. A pencil lead in my thigh. <laughs> I was stabbing holes in a box to keep a bug in it. <laughs> I just stabbed right stabbed in. Stabbed right through. Yep. Pencil lead broke off. Yep. Well, that may not happen with these Viking pencils because their leads are probably pretty high quality. Yeah, and this is definitely a junkie pencil. Might not break off in your leg. So uh, plus or minus, depending on your perspective on that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Can we okay. know about my tattoo? <laughs> what? I've been uh, married I know. so long. Been married a while. Always learning something new. That's true. Um, Life's cool. What are we doing on time here? Okay, we're doing great. Well. I loved that box. It's a great box, and I gotta say, um, you know, we've been been a little behind the curve on getting some of the new stuff online because, like, a week or two ago, we opened a beautiful box from Japan with a bunch of swanky new pencils as well. So me, uh, now I'm thinking we're just thinking on the fly here. Now I'm thinking maybe we do a a new to Wonder Fair pencil set that includes some of those Japanese ones as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that'd be that'd be that'd a be fun. fun fun little thing. I think next week we'll start to catch up on some of these tasks that we've been um, backburnering while we swiftly adjust our um, protocol. It's a new thing. We're we're just doing new stuff here. Do you think this is the edible kind? Only one way to find out. Yep, it is. It's really sticky. Hmm. Yeah. All right. No, actually, that bad. You know what? It kind of tastes like mochi. Did I see uh, somebody doing like a tutorial on like how to turn these into like Cheetos and you just like blast them with a bunch of like processed um, like cheese powder and then uh, like it's like packing peanut Cheetos. Did awesome. I make that up? No, I don't think so. Wow. Um, uh, that was kind of fun. I kind of want to eat another <laughs> one, but I'm not going to because then people will definitely call me out on being a weirdo. It really disintegrates fast. It's cool. If anybody wants a little snack with their order, just let us know. We'll throw a few of these in for I you. actually think we shouldn't do that because okay. the whole like touching with our hands and then put it in your mouth thing. All right. But outside of this unusual time, we will definitely send you edible packing peanuts. Uh, your gift from Wonder Fair. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, a suggestion from Elizabeth on YouTube. A new section mm -hmm. on the website. That is a good idea. Just like here's new yeah. stuff to Wonder Fair. Um, That's a good idea. We'll consider. I have been thinking that our categories, while at the time it made sense because we don't internet, we should probably have categories that are use more useful. Like, for example, I was adding new greeting cards to the website today because we've had inquiries about Mother's Day cards, which, yes, we have them and more are coming. So I started a Mother's Day subcategory under keep in touch greeting cards, but mm -hmm. the keep in touch is a barrier to entry if people just want to quickly find Mother's Day cards, so. Uh, you know, well, we can argue it both ways. Uh, Pixie Pine asks, is the neon yellow washi tape available? Great question. Keaton Flowers recommend it, recommends it, and I will go check with my eyeballs, but I think yes. I think yes, too. I um, know yes, because yeah. yesterday I talked to a customer about washi tape, and there was yellow. Okay. It's yes. Give us a call if you want it. We haven't put it on the internet yet. Yes. The washi tape, it's like there's so many different kinds. We have trouble like adding things to the internet when there's like 40 different versions of it. 40 so, colors. Yeah. Boy, oh, boy. Um, so. Give us a call. We'll send you a photo if you want. You can pick it out. Or well, just trust Keaton. Trust He's Keaton's right about recommendation. almost everything. So I've never um, known him to be wrong. Uh, yeah. One real quick plug. That recommendation from Keaton comes out of our newsletter, our upcoming newsletter, which 
Uh, I'm sending off the addresses after this show concludes. Mm -hmm. That's my afternoon task is get that newsletter shipped. So if you are on our mailing list for the newsletter, I need to update your address, go to wonderfair.com slash newsletter. If you're not on our newsletter yet mailing list, it's a mailing list and we will send you stuff through the mail. It's our newsletter. This edition is more of like a mail order catalog. Um, it doesn't need to come to you through the mail. You can still pick it up or whatever, but that's the name of it. Um, so anyway, lots of staff picks, fun illustrations coming your way through the newsletter. I keep fidgeting with these. You do. Sorry. Lots of sounds. Okay, that concludes our trip to Denmark. Um, <gasps> I had through, fun. Through pencils. You today. thought you couldn't be traveling right now, but turns out you can't. We took you right there to the north, In your the north of Denmark, to the Viking um, Pencil Company. We even shared some of the local cuisine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These Danish packing peanuts are delicious. Yes, indeed. Um, so uh, the only other thing I had to that I wanted to um, feature, I forgot to grab because hmm. we got a phone call just before. So I can talk I'm about gonna, card things while yeah, you go grab. Talk about some card things, okay. and I'll grab the things I wanted to bring. So I mentioned that I've been um, adding a few Mother's Day cards to the Keep in Touch section of our site. I've added a couple of other cards. I just want to note that um, we here at Wonder Fair strongly encourage folks to think outside the holiday box. We have a lot of cards that are love cards that I think um, show gratitude for motherly love and affection that don't say happy Mother's Day because it's a complicated holiday for some folks. So just a heads up that when you're shopping, you know, what about this nice card that says you make everything bloom and it has knitting with flowers blooming from it. I feel like that could be shared with someone who's maybe not your an actual mother or who is your actual mother and loves knitting. Uh, another good example that I'm loving right now is uh, sapling presses. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe she's just trying really hard, okay? This is the best Mother's Day card that was ever not a Mother's Day card because moms be trying hard. Um, people who aren't officially moms, but who do a lot of emotional mothering support should also get a card this Mother's Day. So I'm putting more and more of those up all the time. Or if you want to talk through options, give us a call. Or I don't know, I'll probably put together some Mother's Day gift sets in mm -hmm. the next couple weeks. Yeah, they'll be limited, but um, I'll just do it um, like imagining my own mom and then I'm going to let y'all buy them. Cool. Um, radical. Now we know how to get the Mother's Day stuff. It's Maybe a big... she's just trying really hard. Yeah, it's true. Um a good card these are cool i mean you know it's gonna be we're, we're figuring it out mother's day cards we sell a lot of them yeah we don't know what to do this <laughs> year if i should order like normally we'll sell upwards of three to five hundred mother's day cards. yeah maybe more so um i'm not sure this year if i should stockpile that deeply it feels like a risk um so i don't know we're... if you're watching and you think <laughs> people will buy them and have us mail them let me know i don't know <laughs> We'll work it out. We'll get some good ones. Boy, I just love this pencil. The election pencil? Yeah. It's really hot. Just feels good in your hand. Like, quote that guy out. All right. Moving on. <laughs> uh, I love that you love the pencil. I love this pencil. I can't wait to add some of that twine to it, too, you know? Where are you going? Into oh. your side pocket. There we go. Look at that. Here, wait. Carry on, Paul. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, got that pencil pocket. Everybody's got one of those on their jumpsuit, right? Um, okay, well, uh, you know, Grace is probably not tuned in. I don't want to shame Grace for not tuning in. Grace, Grace, is, probably Grace is busy. Grace got Grace is moving to Germany in two days. And Grace stayed up very late, probably packing. Yeah, Grace is working hard. Um, but we do want to wish Grace Dechin a happy birthday. Mm -hmm. And uh, to our appreciation, we did wear oh. our... Um, our Grace D. Chin, Lawrence, Kansas's 10th best local artist. Uh, dead last and proud of it, baby. Um, happy birthday, Grace. This is this was a reward only for um, Grace's Indiegogo backers. Um, as uh, she prepped her move to Germany, she was raising money. Um, so Grace is moving. I thought since it's also her birthday, we'd just feature a few Grace 
Grace hits here. Great move. Um, Baller move. Good yep. job. And so uh, Grace was on the show a couple weeks back, one of our first shows, uh, and she brought these um, wonderful wreaths, some of which are like studio seconds or stuff that for, for whatever reason didn't make it out into the world yet, but now they can. Um, this first one, Take Care, just $85 comes framed. Um, bargain. It's a real bargain, especially right now. Um, and I, the reason I'm showing these again, even though we've already showed them, is I finally put them on the website today. So, yeah. We're catching up. We're catching up. This is the um, Solidarity Sister wreath, um, also available on the website as under Wonder Fair, as seen on Wonder Fair TV. And finally, the Kindness Prevails. Mm -hmm. um, this one um, went to Rio de Janeiro and back even though it was supposed to go to Canada. And then Grace, but at that point, Grace had already shipped another one to Canada, I'm sure. Uh, but now no. this could be shipped right to your house or delivered by us. Each um, wreath is unique, so this is the only one. There was not the a second one. one made and sent to Canada. Oh no, she didn't uh, make a new one? Some people, speaking of kindness prevails, get pretty salty with artists who don't always function at a like corporate capacity for fulfillment. Yeah. So um, Grace would never say that, but I'm here to say like treat artists like people. They're yeah, I know that this is a one of a kind nice. thing. And like if it gets shipped to Rio on accident. There's nothing you can do. You know, it's not Grace's fault. Nope. So anyway. Uh, We're all just doing prevails. the best we can. Yep. Kindness prevails. We're all just doing the best we can. So and uh, I also brought some of Grace Grace's prints that we just added to the website. I should have brought doubles so you could do the dual feed. I think the way Oops. to introduce each of these is to start with the meme from Twitter. I don't know who needs to hear this, but oh, that's colon. good. Yeah, you start with that, and I'll I'll grab the others and show them on Instagram. Nice. Uh, I don't know who needs to hear this, but it is never overreacting to ask for what you want and need says Amy Poehler, and then Grace makes it look cute in a beautiful, affordable print. Uh, loving this for all of us right now. Next up, I don't know who needs to hear this, uh, but I hope you're sitting down because it's kind of a long one. Uh, actually, this one doesn't work because it's an Audre Lord quote that is not a direct address, but Audre Lord is um, the ultimate, the goat. So let's do it anyway. Uh, this Audre Lord quote says, I want to live the rest of my life, however long or short, with as much sweetness as I can decently manage, loving all the people I love and doing as much as I can of the work I still have to do. I'm going to write fire until it comes out of my ears, my eyes, my nose holes, everywhere until it's every breath I breathe. I'm going to go out like a fucking meteor. This is great, because you don't often get a quote that has the word nose holes in it. It's a really good point. I believe Audre Lorde is probably the only artist to successfully include nose holes in a famous passage. Yeah. Um, also, did you know that um, John Brown was known as the meteor of war? So uh, Audre Lorde was way better than John Brown and it has a Kansas connection. There you go. He went out like a fucking meteor too. Next up. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you do not need to be perfect to be whole. And then there's the moon which as a Cancer uh, and all moon signs, basically, this is my fave. I have a whole room just about the moon in my house. And that print is in it, so I recommend it. Lastly, I don't know who needs to hear this, but do not be daunted by the enormity of the world's grief. Do justly now, love mercy now, walk humbly now. You are not obligated to complete the work, but neither are you free to abandon it. This is attributed to Pierre K. Abbott. So, those made me feel good. Great. Great set. job, Grace Chen. Uh, these are all Rezograph prints. Um, printed locally in Kansas printed City. Printed in Kansas City at Oddities, um, Oddities Press. Uh, they range in price from $15 to $25. They're on our website now. Mm -hmm. um, they come packed in uh, beautiful sleeves backing boards not gonna get no no bent corners going on here we're taking care of these prints getting them right to you i'd give any of these to a mom this is a great affordable thing to mail to a mom in your life or... yeah do moms ever actually ask for what they need no 
Nope. Do it, moms. Do it. Send it to your mom. Um, absolutely. Also, that'll kind of like give your mom permission to ask for support. There you, you go. Know. Yeah. Um, or a mom doesn't have to be yours, or someone who's not officially a mom but does a lot of mothering. Just trying to include everyone, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yo, this was great. I That's a wrap. Celebrating Grace's birthday. Did you bring me cake? I did not. Mm -hmm. I wonder what where the cake options are locally right now. Taking cake suggestions. Gosh, I guess Wheatfield probably still has cakes. Oh, yeah, probably. And 100% you can buy a weird cake at Dylan's. Definitely. Okay. Well, okay. we'll get on that. Celebrate Grace some more. Uh, Sadly, our time is Grace. done. I loved your unboxings today, mm -hmm. and um, I look forward to more. There's undoubtedly more coming in the future as Wonderfair still continues to receive things. Uh, we got some packing supplies from USPS today. Didn't bring those on the show, but you know, pretty exciting, stuff. pretty exciting. Um, thanks for tuning in today. This is the Wonderfair Home Shopping Network. I'm Paul, this is Meredith. We'll be back tomorrow at noon, every weekday, noon to one, um, telling you what's new, what the haps are, learning about pencils. Um, Loving pencils. If you need anything, that's the number, 785-856-3247. Give us a call. We've got deliveries happening locally later today, so we can get stuff out to you. Or you can pick it up at our door, or you can order it on our website, wonderfairhomeshopping.com. Check out the haunted bathroom, wonderfairsvirtualhauntedbathroom.com. Uh, anything else? Want to mention any more websites? Pollen.com. What was it? Pollen.com. Pollen.com. Yeah, just fave. like keep an eye on the pollen count, y'all. It's okay. been pretty high lately. All right. Well, there's your tip. Thanks for tuning in today. See you tomorrow. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I put this in as seen on TV and now it's official.